this is another quick family picture that I need to do so I'm going to resize it first I'm going to go into crop the height of 5 with a, sorry with a 5 height of 7 at 300 dpi and then I'm going to crop it um, Yeah, something like that. And then uh, next thing I'm going to do is do some uh, levels, brighten it up a bit. To this day, I have yet to figure out why it does that. Brush. Okay. We're going to go and uh, fill in this background here because I don't need that lightened at all. Okay. In fact, all that could stay darker. And next thing I'm going to do, I'm in here. I hate these little uh, family photo types. They're always so blurry and grainy. But. Yeah, you do what you gotta do. So let's do let's do a little sharp and unsharp mask. Yeah, that helped. My usual fifty eight, five point eight and one. Yeah, that helped. USM 58, uh, yeah, 58, 5.8, and 1. And once again, for picture code, Noise Ninja. Barely noticeable. Okay. But that certainly helps overall. So I'm going to take those, throw them into that folder for the background. Fill in the sky a bit. 80. Because that up in the corner is just bothering me.
could have used a magic wand, but I really just want to uh, get a cleaner edge off of this. And then, uh, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to grab another sky image that I have. Just give me a second. Alright, I just randomly grabbed a sky image. I'll take that. Drop that in here. Add the mask. That, do that. Um, by using the hand tool, or the uh, move layer tool and then unlink the mask from the image and I can grab just the image without affecting the mask so I will probably just for some extra believability's sake scale it down a little bit Scale it down a little bit just because. Uh, something like that, it's fine. And then uh, grab the opacity. Scale it back. And then I'll grab that mask itself and then go filter. Uh, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, just to soften it a bit, and then I can, uh, what are we at, 80%, we'll make that 20%, and then just redefine that again on certain parts. Good enough for what it is, and uh, and then once again I tinker with it again. That's what I do. All right, stop tinkering. Zoom back in. He's the focus of it, not the sky. Oh, that's the other thing I'd like to do. I'm gonna grab uh, curves, and overall I'm just gonna grab the dark. Come up. Sorry, grab the whites and bring them down so that it isn't a pure white, so that there's some tint in there. And then I'm going to use my brush and a quick mask again to. to focus a little bit more on his face. Levels. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And, uh, what else do I want to do? His teeth. Not that there's really much showing, but.
levels and just brighten them up a bit. I had considered blurring this background, um, but I think I'm just going to leave it as it is uh, so that you can see that he is up over the theme park. So uh, this is going to be a way for overall. Then I can just put that in there. Let's face lighten this Te teeth and sky. Good enough. And I will call this one done. If you like this video, um, you can go to theartofretouching.com where we have many other videos just like this one.